Welcome back into the U.S. Bank Stadium. You're with us some excellent skating on the four wheels. Now we're going to dump two of them, shift it over to a, a bike, and have ourselves a little Toyota Men's BMX Park Finals, the last event to wind off four days of excellent activity here in the great state of Minnesota, Minneapolis specifically. Hello everyone, Uncle Lee alongside nine-time medalist Scotty Kramer, and down in the mix is Chris Doyle. Five X Games medals to his credit. We are promising you a heavy-hitting, action-packed event. Scotty, how you feeling about this one? I'm so excited about this. This is my sport. This is the one that I earned all my nine X Games medals at. I'm very passionate about this one, and this is the most competitive sport in BMX, in my opinion. Yeah, we've got storyline after storyline. We're going to break it down for you. We're going to close out the X Games. It promises to be exciting for you folks at home on ABC and the folks in the stands. We're talking Kevin Peraza, wide defending medalist, looking to go back to back. So Kevin Peraza came out swinging last year. The course played into his ability for perfect tricks, and it was absolute, you know, just the chemistry of him riding that course was just perfect, honestly was. So that's how he got the gold medal. Yeah, but there's another guy who's got some great inertia, great momentum from last night, BMX dirt, all the way from Australia. Brandon Lupos threw it down with a 95, took the gold. How's he going to do today, you think? Momentum is key, and Brandon Lupos coming off of that, that win last night in dirt, he's feeling like a million bucks. So he's going to come into this course confident, and he has the tricks to do it. Yeah, fired up to witness this. 12 athletes are going to get three runs each. Highest score out of 100 takes the gold medal, takes the heavy hardware. We start with Drew Bizanson, and we'll scrap things up with defending champ Kevin Peraza. So our job is to give you the who, the how. Scotty's going to do the how, the, the how and the why. I'll do the who and the what. And down below, Doyle, he'll get in the mix when we can. So our job is to have some fun with it. These athletes are the best in the world. And here we go. We're going up to Nova Scotia, Canada, don't you know? Drew Bazanson, a silver in 2014. This is his ninth X Game appearance. Taking a deep breath. Scotty, you've been in this place before. As you're the first to go, what runs through your mind? Oh, the nerves are running wild, and Drew is coming off an injury. So this is one of his first events back in here. So I can only imagine how he's feeling. So far, so good. Do a little X up on there. And these riders are going to be using this whole entire course to their advantage. And that's what the judges want to see. They want to see high air, great tricks, and good use of course. Now, the park is so different. There's hips, there's rails, there's wall rides, there's box jumps. And Drew can ride it all. As you can see, a big combination with a late turndown on the deep end. And he's pumping the corners here, keeping good speed without pedaling. And the judges are going to reward him for that. Onto the hip. Great line so far. He's using a little bit of everything, and it's really cool to see. It There's a nice, nice transfer onto the box jump whip, and I feel like we're going to see that line a few times tonight. 360 whip from the hip to the box jump landing, and our first rider is done. And you hear that little beep. That is the clock ending at 45 seconds. You'll see the little yellow clock up in the left-hand corner by the name and by the what run we're doing. That breaks down how much time each of these guys get. So here's Drew over the box jump. This is where you're going to see most of the big tricks. That's where the riders are going to be able to do the flips, do the 720s, do the multiple tail whips. But they have to incorporate a full line. As you can see, he went from the box jump straight into that hip right there. And that's a really cool line. Yeah, so speed does play a factor. It's not how fast you go. It's how fast you go with the fluidity and how you're incorporating the tricks. So we'll keep talking about that. 50, so it's halfway to 100 on that run. And that's the benchmark thus far. Well, as we wait for our next rival, Daniel, D Daniel Dares, one of the smooth veterans out here, earned five gold medals through the years. It's been a little bit of a stretch since. And take a look here, Scotty Kramer, our, our, our analyst right here, you got the gold in 2012, but since then, it's all been different athletes. Why is that? This is the most competitive competition at the X Games, in my opinion, and it just goes to show we can have a different medalist tonight but for the ninth time. If things go, uh, if things go a certain people ways, yeah. And what's the what's the breakdown right now? Isn't it half the field has gold medals already? Yeah, it is half the field has gold medals in this discipline, and there's eight gold medalists from X Games BMX disciplines in this field. So you got the heavy hit in Arsenal, the guys that have earned the right to be here, and uh, we're ready to go. Daniel Deers, let's keep an eye on the prize. This guy, five gold medals in his pocket for a reason. All right, 360 whip to start things off tail up in the deep end really nice air right there and that's a really steep quarter putt he's got pool coping so seeing the riders go high the judges are going to like that now we did a 360 no hander over the jump backwards into a nice 450 tabletop leaning that bike over on the side and daniel's got nice speed right here i like how he's using the course he's not pedaling he's pumping around nice 360 whip onto the top deck and you can see he immediately drops straight into the bowl to keep the 
speed going. So the difference between what you're seeing here in park and street, which is a different uh, discipline, not as many trick features here. So there's more flow involved here. You don't have to be as trick heavy. Of course, you know, but every rider has their own approach to it. You're going to see guys doing a lot of tricks, and you're going to see guys that are going to be flying around. But you know what? It's That's what's beautiful about this competition. So here's Daniel's replays, classic 360 whip up on top of the deck. And here's the flare over the channel. And I call it a channel because there's a hole in the middle there. You can see the camera guy is hanging out in there. So that adds a little bit of a level of difficulty to it. And our cameramen are required to wear, hel wear helmets for safety. Yes, yes, it should be. <laughs> Just think about it. you got guys <laughs> flying all over the place in this course. Yeah, our caravan, great work throughout the course of the four days. A thankless job, but we thank them very much for the great images we're able to talk about. So, the pride of Venezuela, Daniel Darius, his score comes in at a 74. He have, now has the first place mark. Now we're looking here from Corona, California. Larry Edgar is first X Games, second X Games appearance. So Larry Edgar is known for going incredibly high. Beautiful 360 nose dive over the box backwards. Beautiful 360 invert. And you can see how he dips the nose down. It comes in aggressive. You know, and I've been watching him in practice. He's been looking great. But like you said, this is his second X Games. So you know what? There's going to be nerves in this. But with the beauty of today's competition, Wow, massive, massive no-hander in the deep end. But the beauty of today's competition, three runs and best run counts. So that means we are going to see the best runs possible as this competition goes on. You see right there how he just did the alley-oop, uh, 270 over that hip right there. Very difficult because it's, it's opposite way. Wow, massive oh. pocket air. I did not see that one coming at all. And everything's oh. off with the 360 to fakey. Feeling good about that run. We need to see a replay of that one. We I hope the caravan can get that. Yeah, it totally inspired by Evil Knievel. Check out the red, white, you look at helmet. Love the style and the energy. Larry Edgar. Yeah, so look at the nose dive. He's dipping head first into this ramp while clicking that invert. Larry had a really good run right there. I really like how he ended strong with that run as well. And yep. here we go. There's a massive flare. Straight flair, you know, didn't do a trick in it, but he goes so high, and that's the difference with Larry. But here's the pocket air that I absolutely love. Pulls out so far away. That was not designed to work that way, but these riders, and Larry in particular, is so strong. He's able to pull the bike off that transition and make a ramp turn in like that. And taking it to first place, so the course open for interpretation. Ooh. Solid for Larry Edgar in his second X Games appearance, doing it for Evil Knievel. I love it. Well, the X Games team caught up with Dennis Anderson at his home and talked video projects in the real cost athlete profile. Check it. I'm Dennis Anderson, 27 years old from San Diego, California. When I'm not at big contests, I spend a lot of time at home working on video projects. Right now, my main focus is this part with Demolition Parts, Christian Regal, and Mike Mastroni. Yeah, a relationship with your filmer is very important. You have to have trust in them, so when you say you're ready to start focusing on the trick, you can forget about what they're doing and just know that they're gonna they're doing their job right, and it's your turn just to zone in to what you're about to do, because there's not any room to be thinking about other stuff. Some of the main challenges for me are always injuries. If you go into it with just like a minor sprained wrist or something as small as that, it can make the clip so much harder to get. This one's really important to me to do my best work in. And it's all street too, so that's another thing. I haven't had a full street part ever, so I'm kind of dedicating this time of my life to making this part as good as I can. I'll film other parts later on down the road, but for the time being, I want this to be the one that I'm like, that's the part I'm most happy with. And as Scotty will attest to, video parts are equally as important, if not more so, than competitions this day and age because of social media, and they get addicted to it. If you haven't had a chance to go on to social media or anywhere to check out this guy and everyone else's stuff, it's unbelievable. Here we go, 2016 gold medalist, Dennis Anderson out of San Diego. Dennis Anderson is regarded as one of the best all-around riders. Huge pocket air right there. That angle is insane in that cameraman. 360 can can over it backwards, but Dennis is so good at riding everything. Things, street competitions, flip whip, tail whip pocket air. This run is looking great. If he can keep this going, keep the speed up, we're going to get a huge score. Oh, nice 270, but he landed a little bit low there. Not exactly what he wants to do. Nice disaster on the wall ride. And you can see Dennis rides every feature here. Every trick that every, every ramp that he comes up on, he has an answer for it. Cannonball over the box. And then here's a foot jam fakie on the massive one. Oh, 
he slides oh. out at the end. That trick right there to end on is so difficult. After 45 seconds, you know, you use your whole body. You're like doing a full out sprint, or a full out sprint. So, but here's a massive flip flip over the box jump. And Dennis can do, like I was saying earlier, every trick out there. He can do, you know, tricks where you're landing fakie, but he can do massive backflip tail whips like that. Here is the tail whip pocket air. So we call it a pocket air because he's taking off from that ramp and landing over on the side ramp, and that's not supposed to happen. Here's the trick that went wrong, foot jam the fakie. So difficult landing backwards in such a steep ramp, but you have all that impact and you're not landing perfect on that one. It's so hard to keep your balance. Yeah, so the flow, the fluidity, staying on your bike, obviously integral to getting top score. If he would have stuck that, his score would have been higher. He'll settle for a 64 for the time being. Welcome on in, this is the Toyota Men's BMX Park. We are barely getting underway. We have a few guys done, a lot more to go. Here's Brandon Lupos, 25, the Aussie, who had great success last night in the dirt competition. Let's see if he can carry that momentum into the park. Oh, his first medal was a gold. How amazing is that? So far, so good. Tail over the channel gap, doing the Ali truck driver, landing perfect on that. Good speed as well. Double tail of transfer into the box jump landing. Nice no-hander out of the steep plexiglass wall. And you see these guys are trying to fill up this whole entire run with trips. Flip whip of his own over the box jump. Heading back over to the deep end. Big chuck no-hander air out of the pool coping. Legitimately pool coping. The same thing you would find in a regular pool these guys have there. Skaters love riding it, so that's why it's on the course. 540 flat, yeah. landing perfect. Pump into the wall ride. How is he going to end this one off? That's going to be time right there. But he does get the tail of air in there. I'm not sure if that counts because that was a, a big distance between where he was heading to. Well, great use of course. He was all over the place, maximizing the features. Good amplitude and stayed on the bike throughout. So Brandon Lupos is known as more of a trick guy than anything else. I mean, you're not going to see too many guys doing 540 flares like this because, you know, there's a separate group of riders. There's guys that are known at going fast and holding tricks and, and doing stylish tricks. But there's guys that are known like Brandon Lupos who, who are more trick-based. It's not that Brandon can't go high. It's just yep. he's more tricks. Well, score to beat 82 in order to slide to the lead. Remember, gold medalist from BMX Dirt last night. Interesting story. Had his bike stolen in Edmonton before the X Games. Had another one shipped out just in time to win dirt last night. So a little good karma coming his way. Not to mention some excellent skills as well. All right, Lupos taking a score of second place, 80. All right, after this message and a word from our ABC stations, we will be right back with more BMX Dirt. Gary Young, hometown, San Diego. The OG has been doing this longer than anyone since 2002 back in Philadelphia where he took fifth place. This is his 19th X Games appearance. Here he goes. So Gary Young is known about speed and style. You're going to see such aggressive riding on this one. Beautiful one-handed ta tabletop over the channel. Nice opposite 361 foot over there. But like I was saying, Gary Young is known throughout the BMX world for his amazing lines. Look at that. Who does a grind across that and then gaps up into that quarter? Only Gary Young. Beautiful can-can tire grab straight into a lift slide. 360 tail up over the box, over rotate, but he hangs on and he still gets the pocket air. Oh, downside grind over the channel. Very difficult move oh. into a 360. It's a, so cool to see Gary ride for so long and he's still at the top of the game. Still has some of the best lines out there. 540 in the deep end. He's got five seconds left on the clock. What's he going to end it with? There's a lip slide and that is going to be time for Gary. Oh, and there's a Canadian nose pick. <laughs> so from San Diego, California, 19th X Games appearance. Stoked to have the legend in the house. This is a this is an awesome line right here. He goes to grind. Now you can see the transition goes up there with the coping, and he pulls up, and he actually does an air, tucks the bike up and everything, and pockets over to that wall. A very That's very sweet. unique run that Gary Gary Young delivered. Yeah, well, it takes you know half a lifetime of riding a bike to get that good, doesn't it? 19 X Games appearance. And he's 35 years young. 82 is the score to take the lead right now. We're in the first run of three. Lots of heavy hitters still to come. Colton Walker, Michael Laren, Daniel Sandoval, and score 77-66. Puts him in the bronze medal spot right now. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dan Sandoval. We're here in Minneapolis for X Games 2018. 
I'm gonna go ahead and show you a course preview and show you how I get through my lines and the steps I do for uh, getting the big tricks. I definitely like being the first one out here. No one on the course, I get to look at things a little differently. You know, approaching a course that I've never rode before, I just kind of feel things out. I can feel the transitions, I can feel what I can do. Like right off the bat, I know where I can do some tricks and I know where I can't do some tricks. It's just a learning process. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in right here, go over the, the door, go between that channel right there, hit that pocket, get a nice little whip air on that hip, hit this hip, bowl around, hit that bolt corner, go through the channel again, and we'll get a nice little flare bar over there. And another cool shot on the iPhone, any way you slice it. Love it, all the way around. Uh, Uncle Lee, Scotty Kramer here. Scotty, I know this is something you're extremely passionate about so far. Early on, what are your thoughts? Uh, everything's looking great so far. I'm really liking this course, and I'm so curious to see how the guys just keep on improving as the runs go on, because you want to get a first run in there, and then you want to kind of step things up, you know, towards the end of it, because that's when the judges really look into it. Yeah, always good to put one down and then try to improve upon that so you don't have to wait and save your best for the last. Of course. Yeah, so a lot more coming at us including defending champ at the very tail end of each one of the runs so watch out for that here we go back to the action this is a toyota men's bmx park there's a great overhead shot after four days so much has happened and we're winding it down here with something thrilling with bikes in the park Big crowd on hand to watch this guy, the triple threat. This is his third of three events, Mikel Laren at 30 years young. Great story, full of hope on this guy. And the clock starts now, all the way from Racine, Wisconsin, with a big fan base inside. Mikel made it into BMX Park for the first time through the qualifier that they had, and so far, so good. He's got that tail up over the hip. He's got such a great, flowing, smooth, fast style. And he can go so high, as you guys could see that he did on the big air end. Beautiful Superman seat grab over the box jump. And he is known throughout the BMX world to have the most positive energy. Everybody absolutely loves him. And I mean, I wish everybody in the world could meet him because he will affect you in such a positive way. Yeah, take a slice of his energy and divvy it up to everybody. You've got a great world. He was so far so good. This is his third event of the weekend. Only rider doing it. Beautiful 360 look back over the box. Just look at this Finky into that steep ramp and he pulls it. Wow. In the nick of time, there's that big smile. Absolutely amazing to see Michael coming up here, putting a great run down. So check him out, over the box jump, beautiful Superman C grab, he kicks his legs all the way back there, grabs that bike, extends it out, classic BMX right there. And here's the massive Grizz Air, kicking that leg back, pulling the handlebars in, and then this is the fakie, that end part right there, that was like Dennis Anderson, very similar to him, doing it on the same ramp. Dennis did the foot jam fakie, Michael did the tires to fakie, Michael rode away from that one, so let's see what the score is. All right, Michael made it here oh, yeah. via the park qualifier so last month in Boise, Idaho. That's how you get to these games and score in. Laren having a look, having a wait along with us. <laughs> Judges doing their thing. Head judge Van Holman, 78-3-3, slides him into third place right now. So glad to add to that in order to climb up the podium status here. But he's got two more runs, like the rest of them. All right, let's take a peek now over to Colton Walker. Local kid, he's got a big, big following here. Also, his first park appearance. Took a gold in dirt last year. 21 years young, and he is starting things off in the park right now. Colt and I was watching him practice, and he had such great lines with huge tricks. Let's see if he can carry some momentum in this run. 360 downside tail up over the box. That was an opposite tail whip. Regular th spin 360. Double tail up on the pool coping. Carving over the channel. I love that camera angle. 360 no-hander up onto the deck, dropping into the pool again. Here's the trick quarter pipe. Blair downside tail up, landing absolutely perfect, keeping speed and everything. So let's see what he's going to be ending this runoff with. This is crucial right here. You gotta start with a bang, end with a bang. I'll leave 360 tail transfer, landed a little bit low there. Did not pedal, decided to keep the pump going. Coming to the end of the run, big air on the quarter pipe. 360 downside tail up over the box backwards. Bars been air, and that's going to be time right there. And there you go, Walker, who actually did show up in park last year. My correction there, took fourth place here. So taking the learnings from last year. Let's check out his run. Here's that double tail whip out of that steep ramp right there. 
and it's a pool coping one, and this is hard to land back in. You can see the concrete coping like sticks out a little bit more, and it's a little bit more rough than the metal coping does. Here's the downside tail up flare. Catches it absolutely perfect. That tail whip is opposite direction. And uh, for those of you that don't understand what opposite regular is, a tail whip in the opposite direction means that he learned it kicking it with his left foot. That time he kicked it with his right foot. All the movements are completely different the other way around. It's like starting from scratch, and it feels so strange, but these guys are professional. And look at that, 85-6-6. Colton Walker taking it to the top over Edgar by three and a half points. And speaking of the difference, why it's so challenging to repeat out here is every year the course is completely different. So it's not like they're in a pipe. It's not like they're not the vert ramp. They're not like they're in the big air, which is the same thing every year. So they got to learn it, feel it out, and that only helps with uh, everyone getting a chance and even shot at it. No, it's the truth. I mean, over the years of me showing up at different, uh, you know, courses, it's hard to figure out what you're doing. Let's get on now. Corona, California's own Daniel Sandoval. Gold in the park in 2015. He has four medals in this discipline, so he knows what he's doing. He's fully capable of doing it again. 360 downside tail over the box. And what's great about Daniel, he's got the tricks, but he also has the ability to speed up and go high on these ramps. And he's got such an aggressive pump, and that is crucial to get a good score here. Yeah, the Olympics. Olympics has taken part in this uh, this event, 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. BMX Park will be in it. And this guy Sandoval said, "I've changed my attitude on all this. I'm, I'm going to get there to the games." And right now, he's pumping it through the X Games here in Minneapolis. So far, so good. Beautiful pocket air, no hander right there in the deep end. Very aggressive move. Double tail from yeah. the quarter to bank over the channel with a bar spin, and that is going to be time for Daniel. All right, so was there enough flow and enough trickery there for him to get into the top three? That's for us to debate for the judges to actually score upon. So here's a couple of replays. This is the 360 tail up. Daniel is known for doing a lot of spins, 360s, and bar spin combinations. That's his bread and butter right there. So no surprise seeing that one. Here is the double tail whip going from that quarter, landing in that bank ramp right there. Perfect as can be. All right, so Walker, Edgar, Lupos. There's your top three right now. Again, if you're just joining us, this is the Toyota Men's BMX Park. Final event of four days here at the U.S. Bank Stadium. X Games Minneapolis 2018. We're not even through the first full run of three. And we're just kind of getting warmed up out here. Waiting for Sandoval out of Corona, California. Home of Monster Energy, real darn close. If you've ever had one of those, and we're seeing now the judges do their work. Slides into that third place spot. So Sandoval is on the podium for the time being. But we have a lot of guns still to fire away, including this young buck. The Aussie, 27 years young, earned a gold back in 2013 when the X Games went international to Brazil. This is Kyle Baldock. So Kyle's got to be looking at the scores and liking what he's seeing. It seems like the judges are rewarding tricks, and he's going to start things off with a 720 tail over the box jump. He's got the transfer into the box jump whip, doing an opposite air, heading on over to the wall ride. Massive foot jam on the plexiglass wall. Nice. Having to hop a little bit, but he keeps that one going. Into the deep end, tough no hander. He's trying to catch transition, trying to keep the speed going. You don't want to pedal in this competition. Judges aren't going to reward that. Downside tail whip. There we go. Flare right there. Popping up over the hip. Going to the double tire rod. Bar spinning in this time around. Flare over the channel. Popping up. We need to see Kyle keep this going. Get some speed. Switch flare over the hip. Slow down a little bit. Flip fakey. Still and that's going. the time. <laughs> yeah. It's a good time to land low on that opposite flare right there because he went straight into the foot to fakey. Yeah, I'm loving this. Each rider doing their own impression. They're all over it in a different variety. Just showing you what Park's all about. This is my favorite trick of the run. 720 tail up over the box. Biggest trick we've seen over this box jump. Oh, he dabbed the foot there. Yep. I didn't see that in the replay. Judges hypercritical on all these maneuvers. Look at that double, double tap. Triple tap and then down, showing great composure. Yeah, you know, the judges want to see you just get up there. You don't want to see you hop too much. But here's the flare over the channel, landing that one smooth, heading on over. But it was a really good first run for Kyle. He's got to feel good about that good one. Good enough for first place. How's that? Three points above Walker. So Baldick, the Aussie, looking for his ninth medal, looking for his seventh gold in the BMX. How fired up is he?
All right, talk about a guy who's hungry for gold medal. This guy has been the bridesmaid. He's on a silver streak. His name is Logan Martin. He is also out of Australia. Took a silver last night in dirt. He is hungry like the wolf. 720 bar spin over the box jump, starting things off. Double tail air. Logan is such an amazing rider. He's known throughout the BMX world as the most consistent rider out there with the biggest tricks. And he's got the ability to keep speed as well. And that is crucial in a park competition. Blair Barsman over the channel at height. Ali 360 oh. landing perfect. That was amazing. Tail to Barsman over the hip. Barsman to no-hander over the next hip. He's got a really good run going. Wow. Switch downside tail and pocket air. Straight into a regular downside tail up over the channel. Ali no-hander, really good height. Into the trick corner. 540 Blair landing perfectly. Down to the wire there. Blair the downside tail whip. Yes, yes, that definitely counts right there. So Logan Martin wow. took a silver last year. As we said, been the bridesmaid. He did not, you can tell he wasn't stoked last night with his silver and dirt, so he is out with a vengeance right now. There was flow, there was amplitude to match in the trannies too. He's looking great. I mean, he's well-deserved of this gold medal, and it's all about timing on this one. You have to come up with the best tricks possible here at the X Games. This is the biggest competition of the year, so this is crucial. But his run was absolutely amazing. Everything was picture perfect, and the judges are looking for huge tricks they want to see you land perfectly look at that 540 flare and he's landing textbook as could be all right logan martin also from australia baldick who's currently in the lead from australia just a side note in october sydney will be hosting x games australia so these guys stoked to go to home turf not have to travel across the pond 92 6 6 massive score. Jettison, way up in the first place we got ourselves a shoot match out here, Scotty. Man, I can only imagine how Woo! Logan feels right now. It's very similar to Dirt. He came out swinging in that first run, had the top score, but here's the next guy coming in. All right, Kevin Peraza, you're having a look at the smiles right now. 2017 BMX Park Gold Medalist, inspired by his father's passion in BMX. Let's learn a little bit more of the SoFi Bean Series now. Before X Games gold medals and groundbreaking performances, Kevin Peraza was an aspiring rider learning his BMX roots. Turns out, his BMX roots extend back to his father, who learned to ride in Mexico. So I love BMX because I feel freedom. I use it for work. I always ride with passion. I told my wife, right after marriage, we need to go live in the U.S. for keeping doing what I like, BMX. As a child, Kevin was so hyper. We saw that he has a lot of skills on BMX. Just going into BMX and racing for a little bit and then realizing all the freestyle aspect outside of racing just blew my mind. By his mid-teens, Kevin Peraza's interest in BMX was cemented. Kevin's progression was unreal. I don't know what happened, but it just clicked on him and he just went through the roof with this. Like, we didn't even realize how good he really was until he was winning all these huge contests. Perfection, and that's how you get an X Games gold medal right there. With BMX, it's been so rad to have three other brothers and a dad that's into it as well. So it's I never ride alone. I'm always with someone, you know, and I'm always having someone to push me and make me laugh. Our family is just, we're just, we're like this. And BMX definitely brought us together. One thing's for certain, that's about the only time you're not going to see the big white smiley teeth with the cutout. I don't know how they got that. That's unbelievable. This guy's got Permagrin looking for a, a sponsorship from a toothpaste company. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. His sixth appearance at the X Games, you just learned a little something about him and the family that's got him driven for success. Out of Arizona, Peraza, a gold last year. Looking to see if he can defend it, which is so hard to do. He's definitely capable of doing it again. He's got such interesting lines. I mean, his tricks that he does, you're not going to see from any other rider today. So, beautiful 360 transfer, landing smooth from that big transition to the box jump. 270, can't can over the hip. And look how he pumps around. He's got such a great style. Everybody in BMX absolutely loves the way he's on his bike. So, 360 now, side tail, straight to a can can air. Chuck no hander over the hip. And he's going for the tire ride. To tail it, dropping into that corner. Nice flare over the channel. Ali Ooh pocket air. That's a very interesting one right there. Downside tail up, opposite direction over the hip. Regular double tail. Trick after trick from Kevin Peraza. 
and fast fight and see how he just carves off of transitions you know it's just like he's got an answer for every single ramp that he aims at yeah and the effortless and making the difficult look easy and showing just that that composure is the best word you can say like these are difficult tricks but he's also making it look like it ain't no thing but he doesn't have to fight it it's right. easy for him like look at this how he just dips that 360 downside no, uh, tail up right into the quarter pipe but look at this he's doing the tire, tire ride across bouncing across that rail jumping up kicking the tail up transferring into that bank ramp right there such cool lines very unique double tail of air as well he's got the big tricks he's got the ability to flow around and that's why he had a cold last year yeah he's been doing triple duty out here as well took 13th and dirt best trick got sixth uh looking to go back to back gold with Uber Permagrin at all times. So the score is held one and two by the Aussies right now. Walker in that bronze position. You can see the range of scores. That's that's quite substantial for the top three. But based on what we've seen so far, that's gonna tighten up. Again, Toyota Men's BMX Park. This is Kevin Peraz with an 84-3-3. Not enough to even get on the podium, so he's gonna have to up his game quite a bit as we step into our next two rounds. Again, Toyota Men's BMX Park rounding out the X Games here. Stick around for the conclusion. And we're ready now. Drew Bizenson. Zanson is ready to get it on the Canadian out of Nova Scotia his second run presently he's in that 12th spot can only do better from here so Drew had an injury last year like I was saying earlier so him being back on the bike I know how important this is to him wow look at that 360x up and he ditches the bars and actually lets him float the rest of the way around and corrects his arms regular 360x up right there over the box backwards he's definitely got a lot more momentum a lot more tricks than his first run definitely going to be up in the score if he can keep this going X up to turn down on the deep end, bumping into the bowl corners, trying to keep that momentum, trying to keep that flow. Let's see how he's gonna end this one off. Popping up again, similar line. 360 to box straight to the turn out over that hip. There's the transfer from the deep end to the box jump lip. And he's got a couple seconds left with the 360 whip over the hip right there. That's gonna be it. Onto the Corolla box right there, brought to you by Toyota. Zanson to increase his score, took a second place in 2014, and here's a look back. Great X up to turn down air on that deep end right there. That's a big, probably about 11 foot ramp. That's probably the biggest transition that's on that course. Yeah, so Bazanson injured in practice last year, jacked up his ACL, was unable to compete, so still to have him back here a year later. So Bizantin looking to improve upon a 40, does just that 73 and change into the 11th place spot. And a sizable crowd inside the US Bank Stadium, home of the Vikings and the Super Bowl this year. Big old crowd on hand for the Toyota Men's BMX Park Final, the last event of four days of an all out assault of action sports. There's a peek at the standings, Logan Martin. Kyle Baldwin, Cole Walker are your one, two, three. The guy in fourth, Kevin Peraza, defending gold medalist. Just threw down a respectable run, but he, in order to get that gold back, he's gonna have to throw down something a little bit more. Shifting on over to Daniel Dares from Caracas, Venezuela. Has not been home to his home country since 2013. He's literally been on a traveling mission to get simply better and better. He has five golds in this park discipline, but it's been a minute since he's gotten a gold. Why is that, Scotty? Well, Daniel Durs is capable of, so oh, wow, he carved over. I'm sorry for interrupting myself right yeah. there, since that I had to talk about. He barely made it back on the ramp, but that was a 720 no-hander. He's capable of getting a gold. There's no doubt about it. He has the tricks, he has the veteran ability, but there's so many people that are coming up in this sport constantly, you know? You have to reset the format every once in a while. It's hard to be at the top for so long. But so far, so good. He's definitely got a good run going with a lot bigger tricks than he did his first time around. Two seven, or 450 no-hander, 360 over that hip. Coming into the deep end. There's a tough no-hander air on that pull coping. 360 whip on the fly out, hanging up a little bit, dropping back into the bowl. And he's at the end of the run. He's going to have to finish with something good. There's the buzzer. No-hander. Sorry, excuse me. Play tabletop over that channel. All right, dares. In 2006, back in LA, his first act, he earned a bronze. Then it was a slew, a spree of golds. Right now, putting his experience to the test and showing you why. 360 can can over the box backwards. 
here is that 360 whip up on top, just like he did the first run. Signature style, he kicks the bike away from him. He's one of the only riders I've ever seen do 360 whips like that. He doesn't really kick his foot. He uses the majority of his arms. Gare's looking for greater than an 85.66 to get onto the podium right now. The last podium was a bronze in 2013, but again, one of the staples, one of the legends of the sport of park. And in 76-3-3 will be the score, but not moving him up too much in the 10th spot. So we move on from Venezuela to Mr. Larry Edgar, one of the guys you picked early on, saying this guy's got some great skills, some great energy, and his second X Games appearance. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, start things off with a triple downside tilt. Haven't seen him do that one in some time. 360 with over the box backwards, landing a little bit low, but this guy is so strong, he's able to keep speed going. Inverted 360, invert. See how fast he goes, and he just keeps the momentum flying on this one. I love that transfer right there. Huge air over there. He landed, and he's just got so much speed. I can't stress to you how rare it is that somebody like him can go as high as he can, and no matter what, he somehow keeps the transition and the pump going. Big flare. A lot of speed in this run. There's that alley -oop over the hit opposite. He's coming towards the end of the run. He's going to have to end with something big on this pullout. Massive no hand oh. pullout on that one. I think, oh, 360 with Fakie, but I don't know if that's going to count with time on that. But man, what a way to end the run. Yeah, the fact that he did it regardless of whether the clock was still running or not, that smile is almost as big as Peraza's there. That was a really awesome end to the run. Let's see these replays right here. Massive tabletop. He was looking for, yeah, he got that late no-hander in there. Beautiful. Here's that big flare again. He's doing this one higher than everybody else because you have to to keep your speed going. And then here's that last trick. I'm not sure if it counts or not. I don't know where he was, but he did get that 360 whip fake. He's the only rider going to be doing that one today. Yeah, great outlook on life. He lived in a motel with his stepdad for six years. And so this guy's had a very tough upbringing. He basically stuck to the optimism, the positivity of keeping it all together on his bike. And that's why he is here. So you kids watching this, you're capable of anything as long as your mind stays there. So right now, we're looking at it for a score for Larry Edgar, his first run score in 82 to get into the podium, 85.66 or greater. Now we talked about the speed. Speed's one thing, but to keep it all together with the tricks, that can be challenging. Yeah, it is. It's so rare for riders to be able to do both, but Larry is one of them, and Dennis Henderson as well. Okay, 87 puts him in the third place spot. Great place to be considering last year he had surgery right before the event. Finished 12th, was not on his game. So good for Larry Edgar in a podium spot for the time being. We're moving a group and Dennis Anderson out of San Diego. Gold in 2016 and he's on it right now. Wow, massive gap over that sub rail. The speed right now is unmatched by anyone. Huge tabletop transfer over to that Corolla wall. 360 in the box backwards and he is bringing so much speed to everything he's doing. Beautiful flip whip over the box. There is that tail whip, pocket air. Such unique lines out of Dennis Anderson. You know, he had a great first run and is looking even better this time around. Look at that 360 gap, straight to that downside two, it's big disaster on the plexiglass wall. Popping up, looking for that bar over the hip, but it's fine, it's not a big trick. Cannonball over the box jump, and we are at the end of it. Let's see if he's got this one, he's got the big, he pulling yeah, that one around. Nails it. There we go, manual, the fast plant 180 into the lip right there. Okay. Awesome run right there. Yeah, that so cool. that's, that's taking the learnings from previous, doing, but not, I'm not gonna say the same run, but at the end, he nailed it this time. That's gonna help him. Yeah, so you can see Dennis Anderson doesn't have as many of those flashy big tricks as the other guys are at the top of the podium right now, but his big tricks come in a different way. Like this foot jam fakie, look how steep that ramp is. He barely catches transition out there because there's not much to do there, but that's a huge trick. Yeah, work on that. Not many guys can do that one, but you just heard yeah. it straight from him. <laughs> There's more to come. Yeah, that's it. Progress, not perfection there. Only athlete to medal in park and street, and uh, only to do street park in 2018. 90.66, Anderson gets into second place, wedged in between a couple of Aussies. Oh, so far, you're looking at a great final event here at the X Games. These guys are putting the pedals to the metal, sun shining through the skylight above. Again, we're at the home of Super Bowl from this year. This is a 25-year-old Brandon Lupos who, uh, again, won dirt last night, and he's seeing if he can't double down, do the unthinkable back-to-back -back goal. Still on cloud nine. I mean, and he's looking great so far. He's got that 450. Wow, massive. 
tail combination over the channel, truck driver over the hip, keeping good speed. This is going to be crucial right here. Double tail up on the hip to the box jump landing. He's going to need a really big trip to really up the score on this one. The judges are looking for the best run possible. There is the flip whip over the box jump. Leading in, he's got 20 seconds left on the clock. What happens next is going to be crucial. Big no-hander air. He's keeping his composure, landing a little bit low. He's shaking his head there. I'm not too sure. His foot came off the pedal. He went for that kick hit in the pump then. 540 flare. Oh, oh, perfect. Well, I mean, landing, but he just like bounced up and somehow it startled him, you know, and he kept it going, but look at that. You were never going to get that smile off of that guy's face for a while after what happened last night. <laughs> that, that's true. There's the flip whip. Big tricks. I mean, this guy is capable of so many. He's got backflip variations. He's got flare variations. Here's that 540 flare, but watch when he lands. Everything looks perfect, but it just had like an abrupt tap right here. He lands, and then it just shocked him a little bit, threw his body off, and he actually had to put his knee down. All right, so that score is not going to do exactly what he was hoping for. After his first run score of 80, it's going to be close. Gary Young's coming up next. Yeah, so he'll stay with that score there. Gary Young is our next competitor. The OG, quite the aggressive one. Years of experience. His 19th X Games appearance. His first X Games, I was at, at a spectator, <laughs> which is pretty amazing. I was there the next year as a competitor, so Gary has been around the block a couple times, and he knows what needs to happen to get a good score. Here's that awesome line, that grind up to transfer into that seat quarter pipe. Beautiful tire grab, can't can over the hip, and you can see he's just got a, such a great run. Everything that he lands on is going directly to another another trick. He's got oh, oh. Gary go over that downside grind, but missing pedals. Back up on his feet, letting everybody know he's okay. Yep, you threw the jinx in there, right there. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was yeah. But Gary, man, he's been doing this like you said. This classic. You're a spectator in Philly at 02, huh? Yeah it's, yeah, it's crazy thinking about that. But here we are, 2018. Gary's run was looking really good. Such great speed. Here is that awesome pocket air, putting that flatty tabletop in there. Signature Gary Young line. Yeah, well, how's this? 13 competitions starts in this discipline before he actually medaled. It took him that long wow. to get a bronze in 2013. So talk about just sticking with it, being tenacious, and that score will be tossed in the trash. He'll keep a 77-66. All right, lots more still to come here. We're halfway through. Four, we return after this message from a word for ABC stages. And we're getting after it. Michael Laren, Mr. Happy. Three events here qualified via a park qualifier in Boise. Here's his second run. He's currently in the ninth position. This is his first time riding park at the X Games, and he's absolutely loving it. Beautiful 270. Look back over that hip. His first run was great, but I know he could do even better. So I'm curious to see how he's going to end this one. Let's see what he adds in there. Nice 360 downside tail up over that regular 360, or sorry, that's regular 360, regular win. Nice tuck no hander transfer. Very unique lines. He's got the big tricks, but he's got the speed. He's got the ability to ride the big ramp as well, as you can see right there. Downside oh. double tail up, but just couldn't hold on. Too much G force going to the back end of the bike. Whoa, look at that <laughs> move. And I've seen him do that years ago, and I'm glad he threw that out there on X Games. That's a, I, he's the only person I've ever seen do that trick before. And he knew he, you know, he knew he could do it. That run's gonna throw in the trash after the fall there, but that was awesome. So here we go. This is that signature move. I'm glad that we're getting the replay. Mike Kelsey, only one doing this. I couldn't even tell you what the name of this thing is. Yeah. It's like a dance move. It really is. <laughs> we're gonna call it the Mike Kel 360 with drop in right there. There you there. go. You just, you just named it for him. Uh, well, hey, you want to get good, kids. You want to get good at this sport, you move to a place like Woodward or talk to Scotty about finding a park. He lived at Woodward, Michael did, for three years, 2011 to 2014. Lived there. Just got progressively better. In 2015, showed up, got a bronze medal at the Big Air, and now the rest is history. Here he is. Welcome back in. The Toyota Men's BMX Park continues. And there is our next rider standing on top of the Corolla box, one of the features out here, X Games Minneapolis 2018. His name is Colton Walker. He's doing darn good in the fifth place right now. Youngest, a local kid, and a gold medal in dirt. But right now, we're going to bring in Chris Doyle, who's down in the mix. Chris, walk us through this run, brother. My pleasure. It's Colton Walker dropping in. He looked so good in dirt yesterday. He's looking good today. I saw him in practice. Unfortunately, going a little bit flat there. Whenever Colton messes up, it just seems so uncharacteristic because he's usually so perfect and dialed. But look at that. 
Perfect double tail, catching pedals, coming in smooth. Check them out. 360 no hander up to the top. And then this, this is a specialty right here. Flare, downside, tail whip, that's opposite rim. Straight into a double whip, does a lot of tail whips. But, and Scotty, and you can agree with me on this, it's not just about the one or two hard tricks. You have to have hard tricks on every hit, and you have to have original lines around this park. It's not just a best trick contest. This it's is so overall important. impression, it's and so you have important. to have perfection. Well, that was a really good run right there. Like you were saying, Chris, he landed low a couple times, but he did up it. I saw him do the 360 double downside tail whip. And here's, like you were saying, his specialty. This is the flare downside tail whip. But look how perfect he catches the bike so early, lands with so much power in his legs, and that is going to give him the speed to get to the next ramp. And here we go. There is the double tail whip over the hip. He's such a technician at tail whips, at spins, at bar spins. It's awesome to see him showing up here in front of the home crowd and being able to deliver. Yeah, his second run score will not replace his first, so he'll stay in fifth. And we'll shift it on over now to Daniel Sandoval. He medaled in three of the four last X Games Park events, took a gold in 2015. And as we've been mentioning, such a challenging field. Each one of these parks is different each year, so they're not coming into a standardized, I've trained on this for a year type of park, so it makes it challenging. Sandoval has his work cut out for him. He's in seventh with an 81. Here's his second go right now. Sandoval is a very adaptive rider, though. He can show up at a course and he can figure things out. So far, so good. He's got good height. He's gonna need big tricks, though, to get onto this podium. So there is the 360 downside tail to late bar. It's been very technical move, classic Sandoval. And what's great about him, like I was saying earlier, he's got the lines as well. Woo! Truck driver, late downside tail with over that hip right there. Very hard to do because your angle is off. You're rotating less than a full 360. There's the flare whip pulling away. And he's a very strong rider as well. So he can land low and he can be able to keep his speed going. A lot of riders envy his ability to do that. Amazing invert, pocket air on that hip. Keeping things going at the end of the run here. There's a flare bar spin. And then we're about to be time, and that's going to be it for him. Yeah. So he had a couple blank walls there. He had a, you know, he's run out of time a little bit early with a, not enough steam. These judges are expecting perfection. This is the biggest competition of the year, so you need to come out with your A game. Yeah, so 45 seconds may not seem long, but for these guys, it's an eternity. You've got to remember where you are all the way throughout. There can be no brain fade. Oh, as a competitor, I will tell you, I studied this course up and down from the start from when I got the drawing of the course, I came here, I would sit here in the mornings by myself and stare at the course to try to figure it all out. So it is crucial to land exactly where you need to be. And that is why you earned gold, Scotty. Yes, <laughs> and a studious one indeed. <laughs> well, fitness training is gonna motivate him for the Olympics. That Sandoval, that score will not improve him from seventh place. Kyle Bolduck is gonna take a pass right now. And we're going on to Logan Martin right now, our current leader. Wow, the up things with the 720 bar spin to bar spin over that box jump. We didn't see that one on the first run. Beautiful double tailed air on the deep end. He's got a great start to this run and he's already at the top of the leaderboard. That's momentum for you right there. Coming over the hit, double tail whip, great speed. Blair bar spin over the channel. Amazing camera angle by the cameraman. There is the 360 alley Barsman over that transfer. Barsman tail over the hip. Barsman the no hander over that hip. Park is getting insane. I feel like I'm just listing off tricks after one yeah, another. Look at the rear tires landing and matching the top of the transition. That enables him to keep his speed going. Watch this. Every single hit. It's not decking. It's not landing low. He just keeps on moving. That's exactly what he did in his first run, regardless of how great the tricks and are. That's that enables him. That's yeah. what makes him be able to be at the top right here. He's coming off of silver medal performance back to back. But he wants his gold more than anybody on this course right now. But look at his ability to go high on this pool coping. And like you said, look, he landed at the top right there. Here's that flare bar spin over that channel. Different angle than we saw from that other cameraman that was in that channel down there. Here's the 540 flare. And this could be an improvement on his first run, which is crazy to say. Yeah, as you said, hungry like the wolf. So many silvers in the silver last night. You could tell he was not pleased with, with, with being the prize made. We'll see if this increases from his already leading score of 92.66. Toyota BMX Park just heating up out here. Final event, X Games Minneapolis 2018.
he's got to be feeling great about it because that's not that's 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 not an easy feat to go back to back with both of those runs like identical. He's in that zone. India does go up 93 and change. Wow. Yeah, he's fired Amazing up. Amazing score. Yeah. So the Aussie doing it for down under. But this guy, 23 years of age, out of Tucson, Arizona, Kevin Peraza, our defending gold medalist, currently in the sixth position. Got a lot of work cut out for him. Yeah, Kevin, you have a great start to his first run. He's known to be super smooth. Look at that amazing Superman C grab at height, stretching the body all the way out there. Classic Kevin Peraza. Beautiful two, oh, 360 gap over there, carving. So difficult, those transitions don't match upright, and he somehow makes it happen. But like I was saying earlier, he like surfs around this course, keeping speed so good. Beautiful pocket, no hander on that defense. Keeping things going though, this is gonna be crucial. And if I know Kevin, he's going to slip a trick and he threw his run that no one is going to be able to do out there besides Kevin Barraza. He's got 10 seconds left. Tail of dropping. Beautiful yeah. flare over the channel. Ayu, pocket air, and he's ending with the downside tail. Nice. Into that truck driver, but that one's not going to count right there. It's okay. That was that was clean. So, for you viewers at home, you've been watching. You just watched first place increase the score. You saw Peraza there, so do your own critique at home, Scotty. Yeah, take this so away. here's that double tail up over the hip, the slow-mo. And then it, Peraza going over this hip, he's got the ability to do trucks, tricks at such great height, and he holds that no-hander, and every BMX rider around the world is absolutely loving that because that is what we want to see. That is picture perfect right there. Everybody strives to be able to do tricks like Kevin Peraza. Yeah, and look, this kid's always smiling, just perma-stoke. So this is probably going to improve upon an 84-3-3. The judges now, they're doing their deliberation, looking back to see what Martin did, and everything else goes off of that. Yeah, 88-3-3. Just off the mark in the fourth place. And that is the end of round number two. One more to go, folks. And we're going to wind things off here at the X Games. Stick with us. Are you happy now? You're the only one who can up and run. Let me just as empty as a thing. Let's have a peek here. We continue on. Bazanson, his third and final run. He is off and running in a heated fury. Let's see what the Nova Scotia from Canada can do. He's currently in 12. Okay, so Bazanson is known throughout the BMX world for doing such big tricks. He's done some insane things at skate parks that just didn't make sense. Like I'm saying earlier, he's coming off an injury, so just having him back in the X Games is great to see. And I'm so glad from a knee injury, that is crucial. It takes a long time to heal. Big pedal 270 drop in and he pulls that one definitely a mix up from his first two runs and he's gonna call it right there at the end good to have Drew Bazanson back here at X Games yeah especially off an injury last year and he's stoked to be back at the big show here's the big trick of his run pedal 270 on the plexiglass you can see he's on the pedal jumping in spinning his body in looking for that transition landing perfectly on that one and he's known to do big tricks like that and again, currently in that 12th spot, looking to improve upon it. Good experience for the Canadian, Bazanson. Started competing in mountain bike slope style comps as of recent, which will definitely help with the flow, bigger frame, bigger tires. And he is waiting. 62 3 3 he'll stay with his first score in 12th place. Another fabulous shot overhead, taking a peek at what's known as the Toyota Men's BMX Park venue. Final event of four days of greatness. There's the standings. Logan Martin, the Aussie, Anderson from USA, Baldwin from Australia, your top three podiums. Martin is overly hungry. We've been talking about it because he's just been the bridesmaid. We'll get back to him in a minute. Right now we're looking at the daredevil out of Caracas, Venezuela, but he's been globe trotting for quite some time. Five gold medals to his credit through the years, but it's been a minute since he's earned one. Right now, he stands in the 11th spot with his third and final run. Suicide, double bars, been 360 over that box jump. I haven't seen him do that one in competition. Double tail whip on there, landing a little bit low, having to squeak a couple pedals in there. But he's got such a great, oh, uh, ouch. His feet blew off, couldn't find the pedals on that one. That is going to ruin a run. Yeah, for a, for a smooth vent like that, once it, Falls, once it comes off and falls apart, that's going to wrap it up for Daniel Dare's day. Well, it just goes to show where this sport has turned into. You need to have complete perfection, but here is that 360 whip where things go wrong. He couldn't get his back foot on there, tried to get his feet off, and then it, his feet just blew right off the back of the pedals. 
yeah. that was a rough one. Well, the pride of Venezuela, he's Venezuela's only X Games medalist, and he has uh, six total, five gold, one bronze, in 15 appearances. So you're looking at a legend right there. Live to ride another day, right, Scotty? Of course he has. Yeah, that's it. All right, Captain Knievel right here. Love the helmet, love the energy and the flow. Let's check this guy out. Larry Edgar, who's his fifth. Triple downside tail with all. He oh. blew his feet off. That's not how you want to start your run, especially when this is your last chance to answer. But he will come out swinging still. Double tail, one of the box backwards into a 360. No hander to late tabletop. His ability to go so high and squeeze tricks in and hold them for an eternity is such amazing. Look at that, tabletop to late no hander over that hip. Probably about 10 feet out. Oh, oh he lands oh, low as could oh. be. And that's, that's jump break <laughs> for Larry Edgar. Larry Edgar has been winning the band's Pro Cup concrete Ooh. bowls around this world it's pretty amazing i mean his ability to show up at a place and just find the quarter pipes and go as high as possible yeah and his time his time's up now he can't can't go anymore <laughs> you're right so this year winner at the advanced pro cup in sydney the simple session in estonia last year's overall vans cup winner so the guy's just been on a rocket ship of success he has and you know what concrete parts are his specialty his ability to show up and just ride every single quarter pipe and go higher than everybody else I mean, it's just, you, you can't compare him to anyone. It's crazy. Yeah, his family life, as you mentioned, not so great, but he's just put nothing but inspiration into his riding. Great to have a success story like Larry Edgar from Corona. All right, let's go on over to Dennis Anderson, who's currently in that silver medal position. All or nothing, 45 seconds, final run for the gold medalist for 2016. He said in his last run, he's got more in the tank, so here we go. Big tail transfer. Haven't seen him do that one yet. It's been a tabletop both times. But is he on the line? Is he doing the same run? We'll see if he continues. Double tail over the box. Landing a little low. Have to squeeze a pedal in there. Tail whip over that transfer to the pocket. Great blow. Great ability to come up with unique tricks. You're not going to see anybody else do Dennis Anderson's lines. There's a disaster just like he did in the previous runs. Double bar. It's been over the head. That was his opposite direction as well. 360 double bars in his regular direction into the foot jam to Finky, and he lands that go. one. Going for that manual to, oh, he, he couldn't get that one right. We're going for the Canadian. Oh, he's going to have to wave this one off. That was past time. It, it, had already, it had already buzzed before he got up there, so I don't think that's going to count, but that's up to the judges. So he definitely added some awesome lines in here. Here's that beautiful tail of transfer. No one is even looking in the direction of this transfer. He's going from that pocket before that channel all the way over, and then he delivers with another tail transfer with a pocket air. Barely squeaking in this one. So, Scotty, the question begs now. Matching transition, the trick difficulty. Was that enough to take him from the second spot where he's at 96-6? Does that have three more? Does that have three more points to take over Martin? In my opinion, it's not going to happen. But he does move up right now with the 91. All right, takes him up a skosh, slides him, keeps him in that second place spot. So a uh, silver for the time being with some guns still a firing. Like this dude, Brandon Lupos. Gold medal last night in dirt. Such a great success story. One of the higher scores we've ever seen in dirt with the 95. And right now, the dude who's living in North Carolina, Halen from Australia, his final run, he's in eighth. We are going to see some big tricks right now. There's a double tail transfer into the Ali truck driver, keeping things going. I'm excited to see what he's bringing over this box. Triple tail, we haven't seen him do that one before in the last runs. He's got a good run going right now, and these judges are looking for the biggest tricks possible. What are we gonna get in the box jump? Bumping up, straight back, but I know that's not what he wanted on that one. I think he landed a little bit low, but he still has a good run going. If he ends with something big, he could definitely sneak on this podium right now. We've got 10 seconds left. What's it going to be? Switch, no-hander over the hip, going in. Blair Taylor, keeping that one going. And an opposite flare, that's going to be the last trick we're going to be seeing for Brandon Lupos. All right, so what I noticed there is there was good trickery, good, decent amplitude. The flow and the energy wasn't quite the same as silver and gold. Yeah, you're right about that one. Things went wrong with them. I mean, not on this triple tail. That was beautiful. Great upgrade. But right here, a straight backflip. A straight backflip is not going to cut it in today's BMX Park competition to get yourself on the podium. I'm thinking that he was going to be going for a double backflip, but he did not get a good enough pump on that quarter pipe before to lead into it. But 
You know what? He got a gold medal last night. Yeah, he's going He's going back to Australia with his, his dad, show his family some gold. All right, so Lupos, most likely won't crack into the top three, but we're just reporting as to what we see. Judges have the work cut out for him. Again, five judges sit up there. They throw out the high and the low, and then they average the middle three. That's how he end up with .66s and .33s. And sixth place, so he'll slide there to do better than sixth. And our current leader right there is Mr. Martin. Will he keep holding it on? Stick around to find out. And it's time for the OG on his purple bike. At 35 years young, Gary Young will be attempting his third and final run. He's in 10th place. He's got to keep it all together. Kind of pull out all the stops here in order to get into the, the top marks here, Scotty. Yeah, he crashed on his second run on that downside grind over the channel. And we're going to see more of the same. Beautiful one-handed tabletop. And he's known around the world for his smooth style. Of course, I jinx him as soon as I say that. He tags back wheel. But this is not going to hurt him. It's not going to keep him off of his track of delivering some awesome lines. There's that grind up the transfer again. Popping up, beautiful can can tire grip over the hip. Straight into a back tire slide. 360 whip over the box. And you can see he's got trick after trick after trick. Gary is so good at navigating runs. Downside ice pick grind across there. 360 gap into that transition. And he's got such a unique ability to show up at any skate park. I've been on many trips with him where I just show up with him and he looks like he's ridden it about 10 times before. And I'm still sitting there trying to find my way around it. So uh, you think that comes with experience? Of course yeah. it does. Of course it does. But there's an awesome trick to end things with. Downside grind around that bowl corner. That is a steep ramp right there. And nobody in this course can do that one. There's a 360 tail up over the box jump. Classic Gary Young as well. And here is that turn down transfer. He's clicking that bike up, twisting the handlebars around his leg while doing at 270 rota that 90 rotation onto that flat bank. Yeah, great work. He was an alternate before the competition slid in at the last minute. So a gentleman who's earned four medals, one of them being gold, score 80, puts him into ninth place. Now we're looking at a leader in the name of Martin, then Anderson and Balda, those three are leading the charge right now. Michael Laren, he's had a busy weekend. He's done himself a little vert. He had himself some big air last night or the night before, and now he's getting after it for his third and final run. Michael Laren's style is so amazing. He just goes fast. He just does the tricks that make him happy, and it's so great to see. BMX absolutely loves what he's been doing for us. 360 over the box jump backwards. Coming to the box jump this time. 360 downside tail whip. That is a normal 360, normal tail whip for him. Very unique ability because he is a bit of a creepy footer rider. Meaning that usually if you were left and forward, you would spin to the right. He is left and forward and spins to the left. Beautiful downside double tail bear. That one took him out on run number two. Coming up, pumping, keep trying to keep things together at the end of the run. 180 over the box jump. Oh. That's a step off right there. And Michael Laren, ladies and gentlemen. And at the buzzer there. So Michael, homeless in 2009, shows up the X Games 2012, bronze in 2016 in Big Air. Now he's doing three events in 2018. You know what that is? That's tenacity and that's perseverance. Determination for sure. And there's our standings. Welcome back to Oda Men's BMX Park. Look at that. 119,000 people over the course of four days rolled on through inside and outside. And we're watching Logan Martin put on a show right now, commanding the lead, looking for his first ever gold medal here at the X Games. Uncle Lee alongside Scotty Kramer, and we got Chris Doyle down below. A rider is just sitting there waiting on top of the Corolla box. Who is that, you ask? Colton Walker. The Young Gun, second X Games Park appearance. He's our youngest dude here. He was negative two, excuse me, negative four when the X Games started. How's that? His folks, his folks hadn't even met yet. <laughs> that is unbelievable. But Colton is capable of getting in this podium right now. We'll see if he can deliver on this run. There's the 360 double tail whip to late box. one of the biggest tricks we've seen over the box jump so far. He is up and things with the triple tail up air. This is a great start to the run. We can have a mix-up up top if you can keep things going. 
He's got the ability, the speed, the control, and the momentum coming off of this. Flare whip landing perfect onto the hit with the downside tail whip. What is he going to do with 15 seconds left here? That is the question. It's going to be crucial. The Ali 360 whip from that hip to that steep quarter punch. Such a great line. 360 double tail whip landing low right there, but can he deliver? We need one more trick from him. The bar spin air. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a tough one. I know things did not go as planned at the end there. Yeah, you but yeah. You have to ask yourself, was that enough to squeak on at that 88.66? That was such a great run in the beginning. But look at this trick, 360, double tail up, a late barsman as he's about to touch, throws the bars around, such a dangerous move. And look at this, amazing triple tail of air on the biggest ramp that we have on the park course. The guys have tons of respect for him for doing that one. Yeah, the only slight at Everett, the judges are going to notice it too, you just notice it landing low on that bottom line, scrubbed his speed for the last 10 seconds of his run there, that's definitely going to hurt him, I don't believe that's going to be enough to put him into the top two, and 88 is what he earns, and that's going to be enough for fifth place. So, in a game of inches right there, that's the difference maker. It's the truth, you have to be so consistent in BMX Park, you have to make it through your full run. All right, so the, his day is wrapped. Let's take a peek at Daniel Sandoval now, 24 years young, out of Corona. He is standing in the eighth spot, and he's gonna have to just put a burner on here. You folks at home are getting a feel for this now, matching the transitions, the variety and the difficulty of trick, keeping that flow going. No mistakes, don't wanna see the foot come out of the pedal, no touching of the, of the cement. Here he goes. There we go, starting things off with a tilt, the late tuck no handers. 360 over the hip with a bar spin onto the box jump. 360 double tail of his own. He's got good speed, and I know he's gonna end things off with a huge trick. It's just in his nature. You cannot count this guy out at all. 360 tail, tail it back over that hip. That's a new one. Like I was saying earlier, he is known for doing the tail whip. 360 and bars for combinations. 540 flare, whoa! Barely sneaking that one in. You can hear his tires screeching. Pump it in with the tail. He's got 10 seconds left, and I got a feeling we're gonna get a big one right here at the end. I think I know what's coming. Just five seconds left. The front foot flare. Oh, no. Man, his hands flew off the handlebar. I saw the bars go towards his chest area. Scott, you knew he had to go for that. I knew that one was coming. I really did. But here's the one he barely scooped away on. You can see his tires chatter at the oh. end. But here's when things went wrong. Front foot flare, leaning in, tagged the wheel, hand flew off, went to his armpit on the grip on that one. These guys are doing a full out sprint with every ounce of their muscles in their body being used. So when you get to the end of your run, you have to end with a big trick, but that means that's going to be crucial on your body. Yeah, and all these athletes have watched everyone else. They know it's at stake and X Games goal, but they also see where the benchmark's been set by guys like Martin. So it's inevitable, you have to push it. All right, Kyle Balda did not go take his second run. He said he's feeling a little fatigued, but right now he's putting everything he has into his third and final run. 720 tail with perfect this time around. I did not see a slip, a foot slip off. He's got that carb over to the box jump. This guy has the tricks to do it, but can he deliver in the run? Put Jam on top of the wall, bouncing in. Kyle is known throughout BMX for doing some of the biggest tricks out there. He is going to have to count on them big tricks. He is lacking the speed that Logan Martin has. There we go with the flip, double tail and riding Ooh. away somehow on that one. Being heavy on that back end. And oh my goodness, there is the flare drop. Yo! Wow, his hand fell off. Did his feet His feet came, stepped on the butt. Uh, not the butt somehow, they stayed on. Oh, few seconds left, Kyle Bowman from Australia. And the flare big to top it off. Oh. Kyle stepping off that bike right there. That was an insane run. Very insane tricks being delivered there. That flared double tail up we need to see the replay of. So did not take his second run. Left it all in the park for the third. Break it down, Scott. There's that flared double whip, and you can see he lands that one right at the end. We saw this one in the Dave Muir best trick. Flip dropping, landing low towards the front end of that bike. His hand flew off. He did the armpit ride, just like Daniel <laughs> Sandoval did, but somehow he, he pulled this one away. Okay, so the feet stay on, arm flies off. Is uh, What are the judges saying about that minute mistake? Yes, it's still a mistake. You know, these is, judges okay. want to see perfection, so we're going to see what the score is. All right, so Kyle Baldock's score does not improve from there. It stays in the third-place spot. Logan, Logan Martin! Logan Martin, our current leader, charging 
Wow, he did the 720 bars for the bar spin. Same as we did with the run number two, but I know he has more than 10. I know he's going to up it. 360 downside Taylor. His ability to keep the speed and to do the big tricks has been unmatched today. There's the triple tail up over that hip. Straight into a massive flare bar spin over that channel. Beautiful Ali 360. Crank it in, Taylor to late. Barson, I think that went around as hard as even the camera angle. Barson is tough, no hander. There's that downside, Taylor. Pocket air in that deep end. Folks, you're looking at our current leader. His name is Logan Martin, hails from Australia. He's leading the charge, trying to put a little icing on the cake right here. There's that 540 flip. Oh. No! Very uncharacteristic of Logan Martin sliding out on there. Wow. Inches and seconds. That was just a few seconds away from his run there, so that is not going to do better than his first, but a valiant Man. effort. See, that was such a great run. Everything was going so good. Here's that tail of to late. Oh, I, I knew something was fishy about that one from the angle. Did not throw that bar spin, but here's where things went wrong. 540 flare, he snapped into it, he's rotating, but did not have the right speed to be able to get that thing to pop all the way around. But this is what it comes down to. He wants this gold medal. He's got a 93.33 right now, but that's not good enough for him. He wants a better cushion than that leading into the last rider. And last rider, last year's gold medalist, Kevin Peraza. This is it, the last run here in Minneapolis for the 2018 X Games. 45 seconds will tell the tale. Here we go. He tasted gold last year. He knows what it takes to get it. There we go, 360 whip to late invert, classic BMX move. Got a good flow to this one. 360 downside tail of transfer. Awesome move, we haven't seen him do that one yet. 360 can can, great run so far. Oh my goodness, he's, I think I hear something. I don't know if that's his run that or not. Noise? It sounds like a flat tire, but is it Kevin Peraza? Oh, it is, no! no. Stepping heartbreak. off the bike, and look at this! Heartbreak, ladies and gentlemen, a flat tire heartbreaker for defending gold medals. You know what that means? The silver bridesmaid, Mr. Logan oh, Martin, Martin finally, finally did gets it. a gold. He's got the gold that has been evading him for years now. Unreal. Oh, from a, talk about just a, less than 18 hours ago, he had a silver on his neck and he was not happy at all. He was so close yesterday. Yes. And now he has a gold, Chris Doyle. Can you get in there? I don't think we're gonna have one. There's your gold, Logan Martin, silver medal, Dennis Anderson, Kyle Boldick with a bronze. And that's how it goes down here with the Toyota Men's PMX Park Final.